Hey everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. You can tell I'm not at the Diamond Mine today. Uh, so today I'm going to come out and dig some crystals. So I had to look around and kind of find somebody that might know something about digging crystals. So uh, I think I found him. So this is the Crystal Collector. I'm sure you guys have heard of his channel. If not, go check him out. And uh, we're going to dive into a blue phantom pocket today. And then uh, we're thinking about maybe a little bit of variety. We may go look for something else right now. We're not sure. But uh, we're going to get busy and see what we can dig out of here. You Let's pull that dude out of here. Go ahead, ahead, man. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull this piece. You can see the points are facing upside down. It may or may not stay in one piece. Oh, Let's see that's what we nice. got here. Oh, nice. It's kind of like a big plate with crystals kind of growing sideways. I don't see any phantoms in this piece, but still, we're really sharp looking piece all right so we're just rolling some of these pieces out here and we're getting a few small ones we've got the seam here this could be something oh oh yeah look at that that is nice crystals all over the top of this I think and then I believe this is going to be one large plate oh yeah of the phantoms all right so we just pulled something awesome out of this pocket check this out looks like it might have some phantoms some blue phantoms here in the bottom layer either way it's beautiful that's nice <laughs> So that's definitely going to come with us. That's we'll get a, that thing cleaned up. Yeah. That's a wrapper. Yep. It's going to be nice. Yeah, all right. We're working on some pretty big plates we're pulling out right here. This is one of them. You can see how it's kind of got those crystals on there. So there's not a whole lot of color in some of these. But on the other side of that, we've got a lot of plates right here. You can see how beautiful some of those are. Got some little points forming right there. So these are gonna make some pretty good plates we're gonna try and pull out of here. Ooh, this could be good here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh look how black. Yeah. Boy. All right, so we're pulling some pretty good stuff out now. We found this, it's a beautiful little point. Try and get a good look at it without dropping this. Again, you can see that's got a nice little phantom inside there. Just a beautiful little point. And we're getting some other good stuff out of here too. See, I just pulled this off the wall and it looks like just a clump of dirt, but this is actually, let's see if I can pull it off here. Oh, ho, ho. you can see the phantom. Some of that dirt off, beautiful piece. All right, so we just pulled out a really nice piece. We're down here a little bit deeper in the pocket than we were a while ago and rolled this dude out. So that is a very, very nice piece. It's solid. It's all together. It's going to have to be cleaned up a little bit. We'll get a little look at it once we get it washed off, but uh, very nice. All right, so we're down in this pocket a little bit further. We still got this little wall right here that's got crystal all over the side of it. Some of it's pretty dark color. We're working on that. The machine came in, kind of hooked on the side. It was all one big solid piece. So now it's kind of shattered up. We're getting some pretty good chunks off of it. You can see that's got some real good color to it. I'm going to crack this up. This is separated here. Might just have to pull it. Let's see. It should fit right up. Yeah, I don't have one. Should. Oh, you do? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, 
we can like like twist it you know what i'm saying let yeah. it fall and twist it as it falls so it lays up but just don't, don't let yourself get in the way of it <laughs> this is going to be, oh wow, this is huge and flat. Oh yeah, that whole thing's going to come out. Now this side's coming out. Can you pull it Yeah, let me go put these down. Whew. The heat is beating down. It must be like 95 degrees today. Ooh. Humidity's pretty high too. I might have to. Really feel solid. Yep. Here's another one. All right. You can kind of see behind me. We uh, we tore that hole up pretty good. We're about halfway through the day, just a little bit past lunch break. Um, it is just blistering hot down in that hole. There is no breeze, and the humidity is just unreal. It's so hot. I've got a couple of soda cans in the back of my pickup that have actually exploded just sitting there in the heat so we're going to move and go to a different spot where we might have a little bit uh, some crystals with a little bit different look to them a little bit different size to them um, he's pretty sure he's uh, got a good idea a good lead on a spot so I think we're going to get into some air conditioning and drive over and put some more work in see if we can find some more crystals all right so we're at our second location and uh, it's kind of a secret spot I'm not going to really say where it's at but there is some very nice stuff here so you can kind of see this boulder right here behind me we've got really good clusters just hanging out some of these bigger rocks out here you can look at this one uh, lots of big boulders laying around with clusters on them so we're going to get busy start chipping away some of this stuff and uh See what we can come out of here with. All right, so we're pulling some points out. We got some clusters coming out of here. Uh, they just keep coming out. You can see that looks really nice. Uh, got some that come out with it. Probably were part of it right there on the top part, but uh, that looks like it's gonna be really cool once it's cleaned up, so pretty nice. All right, so this is one we just pulled out. Came right out of that hole right there, and it's beautiful. Just got crystals all over it, every direction. <laughs> nice all right got everything kind of spread out here it's time for some cleanup going to do a little bit of washing right there in the back of the truck and then some of them i'll put down here <clears throat> wash on that pallet you can see this is a whole little basket of just small stuff little points and uh, just kind of extra stuff that we picked up sorted out a little bit not much washed yet but uh, you can see some of these are going to be really nice. I think I'm going to get to washing. I picked up a pressure washer. I'm going to start off with just a water hose and uh, I'll throw in some of these clips. Show you some of the points. You see that came out real nice. That's going to be a beautiful piece right there. All right, you can see behind me. Kind of headlong into cleaning these up. Starting to look pretty good. I've got a couple of clusters that just turned out absolutely fantastic. Let me show them to you real quick. Haven't got to run any acid on them yet. You know, it's still, that'll probably be tomorrow or the next day, maybe later on this week. But uh, these are going to turn out really nice. Let me show them to you. All right, so check that out. It 
is just full of points laying every direction. So this is going to look real good once it's had its bath. A little more cleanup. That's going to be amazing. A couple of days of uh, acid soak and a quick rinse. And you can see some of those big old lumps of mud came out real nice. Beautiful. Still need a little bit more cleaning, but uh, I think you could agree those, those lumps of mud were kind of deceiving. Turns into a beautiful cluster of crystals. This one is a dandy. Well, I'm going to get this one off here first. That one turned out real nice. Have to power wash these again soon. This one is very nice. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but there are actually phantoms in several of these points. If you can see that point right there, there are several phantoms inside there. You can see this point right here. That's a nice, good, clear point. It's got one phantom up in there. And you can see this one right here. It's got some phantoms in there. And it's just a beautiful cluster. See how these turned out. This one's taking a little bit more soaking, but it's getting better. <clears throat> this is from the Blue Phantom Zone. You can see a little bit of the, a little bit of that, that uh, darkish color right there. Yeah, these have got phantoms in it too. You can, I'm not sure how well you can see, but this, this point right here has got phantoms inside it. Let's see if this big one on the end does. Oh yeah. It's hard to get the right angle so you can see it, but you can see the phantoms inside this one over here though. If you look down on the top of it. A little bit more cleaning, some of this will come off. So that'll be a beautiful cluster. And this one right here. I'd say it turned out nicely. Got some more cleaning to do on it. Trying to see if there are any phantoms in this one, because I can't remember where we got this one. Yeah, there's a phantom in this. Both of these crystals right here have got phantoms on them, or inside them. Oh, that one does too. They're down inside it. Just a faint, kind of a bluish colored. Odd thing is, I don't see any in this largest crystal. Sometimes you gotta turn them just the right direction. You can see a little bit of a, I can't tell if that's a phantom or not. Either way, another beautiful cluster. All right. Got a good shot of those clusters all cleaned up and I've got a bunch more I'm going to get done. Probably enough for another video. So uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and I want to thank the Crystal Collector for uh, 
spending some time with me and helping dig some of these beauties out. Thanks for watching. I like having some help today. I don't know. I can't. I was trying to throw something witty. I can't even think. It's too hot.